Hi guys, Rob 46 here. Welcome yourselves back to MotoGP24 on the Xbox Series X. Let's continue with career mode. We're off to Kazakhstan next. Let's see how we go there. I have been doing some laps around there uh, with Moto3. So hopefully we'll be okay. We've obviously got some upgrades for the bike now. Um, so we have moved up the order in t terms of team comparative, but we haven't moved up a huge amount because everyone else has uh, increased as well. So we've got better engine power, better, better everything really, but I don't know why it dumped most of the points on controlled fuel delivery. But anyway, is what it is. Let's go to Kazakhstan. We are now in uh, in battle with uh, David Alonso. So uh, yeah, let's see what happens as we go to Kazakhstan. It's all going to be dry. Right, let's head out and see let's what we can do. Like I said, during, uh, during my time trial sessions, I've been getting quicker and quicker around here. It's one of the circuits that it's taken a little while to kind of feel comfortable with Moto3. But I feel like I'm in a good position at the moment. Just, oh, that's not going to help, is it? Karis is just ahead as I try and get him. Too wide there. At least we got ahead of him eventually. Okay. Really dropping them at the moment. Drop them a little bit there. Hasn't been the perfect lap, but we shall see. Oh, front nearly went. So they're good in that sector. Okay, my first flying lap. Yeah, 50.1. So I'm through by point four. Didn't improve my lap time. So we're going through with Carraro, Batelli and Detwiller. Right, Q2. So... Uh, Change the rear tyre for a new soft and head out. The rider makes his way. Are people going to come out the pit again? My teammate Ortola is looking for a toe. That's a terrible exit from the final corner. People come out the pits. Yes, of course. It's annoying when this happens. It's for a sarto. It's 
still seem very quick on the straights. Got my waterproofs on again for some bizarre reason. Yeah, they're still quicker, aren't they? Get out of the way, you guys are all on outlap. Yeah, these guys are starting to annoy me now. 50.1 again. Those two are just holding each other up now. And yeah, we're in front of them now, but wait till we get to this straight. Here they all come. Or well, maybe not. Rosato's going wide. Really? There's no need for that. Forty nine two for David Alonso. I'm back out. I'm hoping to uh be able to get some laps in by myself and not be attacked by other riders. Right, okay, that's fine. So we're point four off as it stands. Can we make up any more time?
Now we're going to be 0.6 quicker. Storm pole though, of the second by 0.2 of a station. second. That's the end of our broadcast for today, and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Okay. For Asato down in seventh, but yeah, look at Alonso now that we're rivals. Right, let's see how we get on with our bike upgrades in a race. We're definitely going to struggle on the straight, but. Okay, getting off the line. Initially, wasn't too bad. Suzuki carrying an extra 10 mile an hour there into turn one. Okay, up the inside. Right there. It's going to be on the straights where we're going to miss out. So we've got point 0.7. It's already down to point 0.6. Now we're point 0.5. Now point four. So we lost point three, point four on that straight alone as I go in way too hot into that. Back up a half a second from Suzuki. They will close down. going to burn up my tyres too much? Maybe. Hopefully not. Back up to 0.7. Again, even on this little straight, it comes down a little bit. So point Point six, and it'll be down to point four maybe by turn one.
Okay, yeah, we're definitely not pulling away now. I mean, Suzuki's pulled away from Furusate. Got on that corner better than the previous lap, but we're still being hunted. Be my fastest lap. Way too hot into that. Literally just pushing as hard as I can. Don't know where David Alonso is, but he's quite far back. Yeah, we've got a better run out the final corner that time. Just gonna keep trying, keep pushing. Oh, he's closing quickly now. He's closing very quickly. Two laps to go, can I hold on? I don't think so, he's getting ever closer now. How close he is through turn one, that's insane. 
Look, he's found another gear. Okay, Joel Esteban has just crashed. That's going to help out his teammate and my rival. Oh, front nearly went. That's annoying. The front went. Had to pick the bike up. Suzuki comes back through. Oh. Where's he going? Don't know what happened there, but we both made big mistakes. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Right, come on, we got one lap. No mistakes on the final lap, please. Let's keep it nice and tight. Make Suzuki do the work. They didn't lose the front that time. Come on. Wasn't the best run onto the straight. I've lost three tenths already. Come on, run to the line. We're going to win our first race. Finally. Ooh. We had to work so hard for that. <sighs> Fastest lap of the race as well for me. That was difficult. But we did it. Alonso down in eighth. Ah, <sighs> okay. We finally won a race. Yeah, can't believe that. That was a crazy race. For Asato, three seconds behind both of us. We are up to second in the championship. Seven points behind. And second in the uh, team championship, nine points behind. So we've closed in there as well. Camera is taking us into Park Ferme to see the race winner. Finally. He's celebrating with his mechanics. If he continues like this, it will be difficult for his rivals to keep up with him. I felt good. And we finally, we're still losing so much time on the straights, but we just had to make it up in the corners, which we did. We nearly crashed on the penultimate lap when we nearly lost the front. And then uh, Suzuki made a mistake as well. And then he got me with uh, three corners to go. 
and then I managed to get him back into the penultimate corner. Or, no, four corners to go, he got me back. And then, uh, yeah, I managed to get him three corners to go and uh, just about held him off. Messages. Well, Taylor, it's good to see MT Helmets MSI have backed a winning horse. Robert 46 first win was fantastic. Thank you. Okay, a real coup for Robbie 46 Winning at Sokol is always a source of pride. Now I'll take the time to arrive at Assen with the energy to win. Nice. Ah, so yeah, Assen will be next. Please be dry. Yep, it's going to be dry. That's good. Finally got our first win. And we did it in style. And of course, we did have to work very, very hard for it. Right, standings for all three categories. Moto3 for Asato still leads the way, but I am now up to second place, only seven points behind. Suzuki drops down to third, but he's still only 11 points behind. Then we've got David Alonso in fourth and Colin Vaya in fifth. Moto2 with the weird points. Ayagura leads the way. Uh, another MT Helmets rider. He's in... First, he's only four points ahead of Aaron Canet, moves up to second place. Arbolino drops down to third, but he's only six points behind. And Aji is up uh, to fourth. He's eight points behind, and Barry Boltus is in fifth. MotoGP, is it, what? A Honda is leading the championship. Okay. Zarco leads from Brad Binder, who drops down to second. Mark Marquez is up to third. Luca Marini, again, another Honda up to fourth. And Bastianini down to fifth. Anyway, guys, that is it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel for more content. And I shall see you guys next time. See you!